And we've been looking at tax, discount, markup, and simple interest, and now it's time for compound interest. Let's take a look at that. All right, here's the formula for compound interest. It looks pretty complicated, but I'm gonna break it down for you. A is the total amount that you will have in your account at the end of the time period and after the, all the compounding, okay? So that's your total amount that you will have. All right, next is P, that's the principal, okay? In this case, how much you're going to either invest or borrow, so that is P, principal. Now the one plus R over N, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but the R is the interest rate that's mentioned. So check your contract and figure that out. In this case, it's always a percent, and it is. Uh, you need to translate that into a decimal. So think of 5% in this case as 0.05. N is the number of times compounded in one year, okay? It's the number of times compounded in terms of one year. Now, in this case, we have compounded annually. That means that every year it's compounded once. Okay, that's the simplest case. Now, if it says compounded monthly, that would be 12 because it would be compounded 12 times in a year. Compounding just means calculated, and whatever the new amount is, it gets added in to the principal. Okay, so compounded annually would be a one value there. Now, this n times t, Again, N is the number of times compounded per year, and T is the time period in years. Okay, always in years. Now I want to talk about this exponent right here. All right, here's a shortcut. Instead of figuring out the N and the T and multiplying it, what it really means is how many times compounded during the time period. Again, it's how many times compounded during the time period given. Now look at our example here. We have our money invested or borrowed for three years and it's compounded once every year. So this exponent here, this n times t part, just think of it as how many times is it compounded in three years, once a year? Well, obviously that will be three. Okay, that's kind of a shortcut. Another thing about this formula is this one plus, this is the interest rate broken down into how many times um, it's compounded. Every time it's compounded, it's broken up per year. So this whole thing is 100% plus the additional percent, okay? And because you're adding it, that's what increases the amount. So you start with the principal, and then these two parts here actually calculate the interest and add it on automatically. That's why this formula always applies to A, the total amount. That's the interest added in. All right, here's another example. Shelly learns that her savings account is compounded monthly. If she has $12,300 in her account right now, how much will she have in two and a half years at a 3% interest rate? All right, so here's the formula. And the P principal will be your starting number there. So 12,300 goes on the outside of the parentheses. All right, and then it's one plus, now let's do R over N. R is the interest rate, so it would be 0 0.03. And divided by N, that's how many times it'll be compounded in a year. All right, compounding monthly, that means 12 times a year, right? So you're gonna take that 3% interest rate and divide it into 12 parts. So every month, it's a 12th of the 3%. So I hope that makes sense there. All right, I'm gonna write it out in long form here and we'll use our calculator to figure out all these decimal amounts. All right, and then the N times the T. Again, we can do the N, which is 12, and the T, which is 2.5, two and a half years. But think about it. If every month you have money compounded and you're going to do that for two years, well, that's going to be definitely 24 months worth, right? Plus another six months. 24 months plus six months would be 30 months. So your entire exponent there is the 30th power. And you can see the power of compounding. You're going to take this percent and you can keep multiplying it by itself 
30 times. So they're small amounts, but they do add up. Again, that's 30 times that will be compounded in a two and a half year period. Okay, I hope that made sense to you. All right, now let's go ahead and just continue this on. Here's my principal. And we have that interest rate amount inside the parentheses to the 30th power. Let's grab our calculator. I always recommend to do the interest rate part inside the parentheses first. So 0 0.03, as you can see in my calculator, I'm going to divide that by 12. And this is going to give us the interest rate part that's per month. So 0 0.0025. Now we're going to add that to 1, so that's just 1.0025. Five. All right, and that's to the 30th power. So here's how you do that on the calculator. Put in your base number, 1.0025. And look for this key right here on a calculator. Hopefully you have it. Y to the X power. That's how you raise anything to any other power. So you hit that button there, and then you're going to go ahead and put the exponent in there, which is 30. Don't forget to hit equals. And notice my number here, 1.07778. All right, I'm going to just round that, 1.07778. So we have our principal times 1.07778. All right, now let's take a brief look at that. That's 100% plus about 7, almost 8%. So we went from 3% interest every month, and because it builds on itself, we're at the end of two and a half years, you're actually getting more about almost 8%. Okay, that's the power of compounding. Now let's finish this by multiplying it out and seeing what our total amount is. And we're going to get 13,256.73. Thirteen two fifty six seventy three. All right. Now that is your twelve thousand three hundred with almost another thousand dollars earned at the end of two and a half years. All right. So it's all built in. It's a looks like a fairly complicated formula, but if once you know how to do it on your calculator, you'll be fine. Now I want you to try some problems yourself. You tried numbers 21 through 24, and good luck. All right, number 21. You can see your answer, and here's how we got it. You take your principal, 54,200, times 1 plus, take your interest rate, 0 0.056, and it's semi-annually compounded. That means that you're going to divide it by 2. It gets compounded twice a year. Now, if it's compounded twice a year and you're going to invest for two years, then that, of course, would be four compoundings. So that would be your exponent on the outside. All right, number 22, you're going to take your principal, 49,000, and inside your parentheses, you're going to have one plus. The interest rate is 11.1, .1, so it's 0.111. How many times in per year are you going to compound it annually? So it's once. You don't actually have to do any dividing there at all. Now if it's compounded once a year for five years, then it will be compounded five times. All right, number 23. Principal, 43,900. You're going to multiply that by 1 plus. The 1.3% 1 is 0, 0,13. And it's compounded annually, so once a year, divided by 1. And once a year for 9 years means it'll be compounded 9 times. All right, and final example here, number 24. I hope that you tried it. Your principal is 1,900. And you'd have 1 plus 0 0.066. How many times compounded per year? quarterly so that would be four times per year right every three months and if that happens four times a year and you're investing for two years so you're going to be compounding it eight times 
All right, if you missed any of these, please try them again on your calculator and make sure you do it right because it's something that's very important to get to know and do correctly. All right, thanks for watching all of these consumer math, business math videos. There's been a bunch of them, but we're going to finish one more and it's going to be a self quiz. We're going to summarize everything for you. Thanks for watching and good luck. Thank <laughs> you.